Are you ready for things to get a little bit creepy? Hello everybody, it's Scott here and we are playing through Dear Vengeance. It's available on Steam, iOS and Android and I'm currently playing through on my iPhone. Now on the surface this looks to be a very simple precision platformer and it plays like such. Left and right buttons move your character left and right. Tapping on the jump button in the bottom right hand corner makes you jump. Double tapping, double jump. Easy enough. But there is an extra layer to this game. And that layer being horror, because this game will break the fourth wall. It's presented as an incomplete game. Here and there, there are notes from the devs and you just have to keep up with what's happening. You have this AI aide who is trying to help you out, but she's getting decommissioned within this level. This is level two right now. We had a note from the devs saying, oh, don't get too attached to her because she's, we're actually replacing her. And every now and then she chips in with a little bit of advice. She tells you what not to touch. She tells you where not to go and you have to listen to what she says. But as you play, there are little glitches that happen. You notice little things. And sometimes if you listen closely, you can hear an ominous knocking on a door or a little muffled scream. And now it seems like, oh, okay, this is really random. This is really, you know, what's happening here. This actually ties in with the Appsiverse because developers Appsir Games have made several games and if you go back through their catalogue and have a go on them, you will find that there are little hints and little references that tie these games together. So you can just jump in and play this game as you wish. And here you go, here's a great little precision platformer. Or you can scrub through the back catalogue and find all these little references and how these games are tied together. So that's a little bit of the background right now. Uh, let's move forward and let's just play this game. So. If you move here, the platforms move as well. So I'm just gonna move a little bit closer. Ah, we got, no, that wasn't what I was meant to do. So this is a free to play game. Sometimes there will be forced ads if you happen to die, or you can choose to buy the in-app version with real life money. So I'm just gonna move forward until, there we go. Gotta move forward until it's a safe space for me to jump. So I don't get hit by the spikes. There we go. Because as we move, these platforms move around as well. And I think that should be good. There we go. Very nice. Now let's double jump onto here. And these tombstones are our save points. Now we want to avoid these falling blades. Just time it right. Okay, random TV, sure thing. And that is the thing. As you go through, you'll find these random little things and think, what's this about? What's this here for? So let's jump through again. Ah, gosh darn it. So don't mind me if the editing appears a little bit choppy. I'm just having to cut around any forced ads that do pop up. Okay, so let's jump over this. Got to time it right. And, ooh, that's, that's, that's fast. How do we do this one then? Okay, I'm thinking, yep, very nice. So as you can see, in the background, there will be little dev notes. Like here, dev note, follow, apps their games on Facebook, Instagram, X, and TikTok, and all of that. And it's like, yeah, this is sort of a un, unfinished build of the game. That is how it's presented. And as you go through, you'll notice little glitches, as I was saying before. And it feels like, oh yeah, I'm sort of playing the beta right now. I'm playing the beta version of the game. Got time this right. Here we go. Sorry, as you go round, there we go. Oh, oh, that was close. That was very close. And so because it feels incomplete, you allow these glitches to happen. And then when they start to get a little bit more ominous, yeah, it gets a little bit creepy. Okay, so we're gonna jump on this lift now. I should have probably, wow, okay. I didn't realize there was gonna be that much physics within that. I thought it was a chain and not like a bungee chain. Right, let's do this again. So gonna wait for that to calm down a little bit. One little note is you definitely wanna play this with headphones and you definitely wanna play this with the sound on because it's the background noises that add to the full experience. Right now, you're probably not getting the full gamut of what's actually on offer because I'm speaking over the top of you. You've got this, you know, brummy voice just drowning out what's actually happening in the background. But if you download this and give this a go, make sure you're playing. Oh, I just fell off the side. All right, why not? I thought I'd give a little bit of action on the screen right there and uh, just fell off, but that's absolutely fine. Okay, so let's get through this again. So I wanna make sure I land where it's safe. And then one, two, there we go. And then off again. Right, here we go. Let's try this again. So, bam, bam. It's just a quick jump because it's gonna fall down. There we go. I just clipped it so that I could do the double jump right there. Now the way to get past this, we need to drop down and jump up and drop down and jump up and 
over and on. And what is that hanging from? I don't want to know what that was hanging from that rope right there. Oh, goodness. Okay, that's annoying. So I need to jump over it. You can't go under it, you need to jump over it. Oh, and I went into the blades above. So let's try this again. So make sure you do a good jump. Oh, jump straight into it, Scott. Why don't you? All right, let's try this again. Here we go. And this is the thing. You can play this for the horror aspects of it, for the world building aspect and all of that, and the lore that comes with playing all of those previous games. Or you can approach this as actually, it's a rather difficult precision platformer because you have to make sure your jumps are correct. They're well-timed at the right heights. There we go, and I managed to get over. Because, yeah, it's actually rather difficult. Now, if I just stay quiet here, you can hear somebody trying to get through this door. You can see it knocking. You can hear someone trying to open that door. That is creepy. <laughs> that ain't nice, because it's the unknown which is scary, and if someone is banging on a door, and you don't know what's there, yeah, that's not a good place to be. Now, oh, gosh darn. Now there is very little narrative about this. You don't know why you're running through these things. You don't know why you're saving at tombstones. You don't actually know who you're playing as. You're just dropped in and there you go. And so you're having to build this world and these justifications for what's happening. And so you're wanting to go through to find out more because why are we doing these things? What is actually going on here? What is what is all this creepiness that's happening? But what I'm trying to do right now is just get across these three platforms. So if I, bam, and then yep, and then yep, and then yep. Oh, very nice. My simulated emotions tell me that I feel happy about your progress. Is this my true purpose? Wow, okay, so that was our AI help her right there and she said she feels happy about our progress is this her true purpose it's kind of sad to ask to, to to know that she's asking about her true purpose when we also know she's going to be decommissioned at the end of this level as a dev note appeared at the top of this so i just broke through a glass wall beautiful oh oh Oh, and this is where it starts to get funny. I've thought so much. Oh, God. That actually duped me. I genuinely thought, oh, something's happened with the game. And we have to jump in and try again. Okay. That's fine. Let's go through. Oh, that really took me a little bit by surprise. Then we jump into the pool. All right. It's glitching. Do you know what, folks? It's glitching on me and I want you to experience this for yourself. So I'm gonna leave this here and say, this has been Dear Vengeance. Let us know down below. What do you think? Will you be having a go at this? And you Jesus, mother of, I didn't, oh my goodness. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that, that action. Wow, okay, I definitely need to end this video right there because I was not expecting that. At Whoa, that made me jump. Oh my god. <laughs> right, wow, I'm, I'm, I'm keeping this in. I'm not editing this out because that was a genuine reaction. That meant, okay, folks, at least you know there's a jump scare right there. Play this for yourselves. Honestly, I need to put this down. My friends, this has been Dear Vengeance. Let us know down below what do you think. I'm going to end this video right here. Look and watch you all, everybody, and catch you next time. Oh, my God.